हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट दिस इज श्री विष्णु आर्ट प्रेस पब्लिकेशन एक्सरसाइज नंबर नाइन एंड टेन ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ नाइन्टी वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट द सबमिशन ऑफ लर्न काउंसिल फॉर द पेटिशनर इज दैट द एलिगेशन ऑफ इनफिडेलिटी against wife made by the husband are a counter blast of the proceeding initiated by wife for illegal demand of dowry and claim of maintenance the allegations leveled in divorce petition are without any basis sufficient documentary evidences have been filed before the family court to substantiate that the child was born out of the wedlock of the parties and the allegations of wife having illicit relationship with another man are baseless submission is that the family court could not have ordered for conducting dna test in a routine manner without applying its mind on the evidence brought before it merely on the basis of allegations made in the divorce petition learned counsel for the husband on the other hand placed reliance upon the judgment in deepa roy supra to submit that the apex court in that case had directed that in case of allegations of infidelity of wife it would be impossible for husband to establish and confirm the assertions made in the pleadings DNA testing is the most legitimate and scientifically perfect means which a husband can use to establish his assertion of infidelity it is most authentic rightful and correct means also for wife to rebut the assertions of her husband and to establish that she had remained faithful not adulterous and loyal to her husband the clear picture would be drawn by conducting dna test and if wife is right she shall be proved to be so she can have no objection for dna testing which would definitely prove the legitimacy of the child considering the submission of learned counsel for the parties and the facts noted above a specific query was made from the learned counsel for the husband as to the stage of the divorce petition some of the evidences filed by the wife enclosed in this petition have also been taken into consideration having considered the nature of allegations and the evidence filed by the wife this court is of the prima facie view that the questions as to whether the child was born out of the wedlock of the parties and whether the allegations of infidelity are false has to be examined on appreciation of evidence in the divorce petition as per own averment of the husband in the divorce petition the fact that the marriage of the parties solemnized on 28 6 1999 was consummated the allegations have been leveled against wife on account of premature birth of the child 
that is after approximately after a period of 7 months from the date of marriage the assertions in the divorce petition are that the wife had admitted that the child was illegitimate the question before the family court therefore would be to find out as to who is telling the truth the evidence led by the parties have yet not been examined by the family court and it had proceeded to direct for conducting dna test in a mechanical manner while appreciating the evidence of a witness the approach must be whether the evidence of the witness read as a whole appears to be truthful in the given circumstances of the case once that impression is formed it is necessary for the court to scrutinize the evidence more particularly keeping in view the drawbacks and infirmities pointed out in the evidence and evaluate them to find out whether it is against the general tenor of the prosecution case jeevan lal pw1 is the son of the deceased meena devi residing with her and the accused in the same house and a natural witness to speak about the occurrence evidence of pw1 is cogent and natural and is consistent with the prosecution case the high court was not right in doubting the evidence of pw1 on the ground of alleged improvements made by jeevan lal and rejecting his evidence on the premise that there were certain improvements as pointed out by the sessions judge deceased meena devi was last seen alive in the company of accused raj kumar and the accused did not satisfactorily explain the missing of deceased meena devi and the same is a strong militating circumstance against the accused meena devi who was residing in the same house with the accused and was last seen alive with the accused it is for him to explain how the deceased died the accused has no reasonable explanation as to how the body of meena devi was found hanging from the tree as held in kashi ram's case it is for the accused to explain as to what happened to the deceased if the accused does not throw light on the fact which is within his knowledge his failure to offer any explanation would be a strong militating circumstance against him as pointed out earlier in his questioning under section 313 crpc the accused simply denied the evidence of incriminating circumstance put to him and pleaded that he is innocent a feeble attempt was made by the defense to suggest that the deceased consumed poison and committed suicide visera of deceased meena devi was sent and as per fsl report no poison was detected in the visera of the deceased in our considered view 
the trial court rightly rejected the plea suggested by the defense as pointed out earlier in a catena of judgments this court held that when conviction is based on circumstantial evidence there should not be any gap in the chain of circumstances the accused is entitled to the benefit of doubt the circumstances relied upon by the prosecution are proved by cogent and reliable evidence the circumstances cumulatively taken form a complete chain pointing out that the murder was committed by the accused and none else in the appeal the high court has not properly appreciated the evidence and intrinsic worth of testimony of prosecution witnesses and the formidable circumstances established by the prosecution against the accused the high court entertained fanciful doubts and rejected the credible evidence of jeevanlal on slender grounds